Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time with a little theory, this time we are talking about an LCD display. Okay? You have an LCD display in your starter kit looking like this. Uh, this is the LCD display. You can remove this foam stuff here. Then you have a bunch of connectors at the end, at the back end. Yeah, this, or you can even peel off here this protective coating. Yeah. I'll stay it on because for me it needs protection. <laughs> okay, so LCD display. Yeah. What does mean LCD? LCD display. I, I already called it wrong. LCD display. Actually what it means is liquid crystal and now the D is already the display. Yeah. Liquid crystal display, LCD. So you can call it LC display or LCD. LCD display, as I've used myself before, is actually wrong. Yeah. A lot of people say it. Doesn't make it right. Yeah. Okay. LCD display. Here, this special LCD display, it has uh, two lines. Yeah? Can display characters, can display digits, can display some special characters. Two lines, two 16 characters. Yeah? So, we are going to use this. However, I want to, to tell you a little bit what is an LCD display, what does it mean? Yeah? An LCD display consists of actually there are two two glass plates yeah? they are really tiny together yeah so this is glass here and in between we have those so-called liquid crystals And now depending a little bit on the technology used, how they are working, but basically it works like this. We have here a polarization filter. Okay, so there is one polarization filter covering the whole the whole surface. Okay, and at the bottom we have a second polarization filter. Polarization filter. Yeah. Also here, polarization What is a polarization filter? Natural light, uh, you know, it consists of electromagnetic radiation yeah, and the waves, they're simply somehow. Yeah. And the polarization filter, you can think of, it's working like a slot. Yeah where only waves which are swinging according to the slot may pass. Okay, so this first polarization filter might have slots in this direction. Yeah. If the waves, if the electromagnetic waves are coming somehow, yeah, this one will not really pass. This will for sure not pass. Yeah. However, if they are swinging in the correct, in the correct way, yeah, like this, yeah, then they are passing this polarization filter. So after the polarization filter, I only have a subset of all possible electromagnetic radiation, yeah? a subset of our light, not color, yeah, because there might be several frequencies. Yeah. However, it's just the way they they swing. Okay, it's nothing to do with color. The color is the frequency of the of the swinging, but uh, the wavelengths of the swinging. And this is just the the orientation of the swinging. 
Okay, so we have one polarization filter and those liquid crystals now, they are able to turn this polarization of the light. The light just passed the polarization filter. All lights are swinging like this. Yeah? And the polarization filter at the bottom, it has 90 degree. Yeah? So, slots, yeah? polarization direction. If there would be, the liquid crystal would be just nothing. Yeah, would do nothing to the to the light, then the light would pass the first one, swinging like this, and here it can only pass if it's swinging like this, so it cannot pass here. Yeah? So the thing we see is black. All right? We will block the light. However, liquid crystals do turn this polarization direction exactly 90 degrees, depending on the thickness of this and so on, but they're turning. So if we swing it like this, yeah, the going through the liquid crystals will slowly change. Yeah, and if the thickness is correctly selected, yeah, then we will exactly move like this to pass the second polarization filter. Yeah? Then the light is passed. It looks can pass. So these liquid crystals look is a look through. Eh? If if not, eh, then it's blocking the light. It's black. Okay. And now there are even then here electrodes. You cannot really see them because they are so thin and tiny. Yeah? But here we can place they are connected somehow, yeah? and here we can place a voltage, okay, some U. If we place here a voltage, we have an electromagnetic, an electric field inside there, yeah? and this has an effect on the liquid crystals. The liquid crystals are no longer turning this, yeah? and we see it black. So we get, if we have no voltage there, we see through. If we have voltage there, we see black. All right. So we can select depending on the form of this of this uh, electrodes. They are on the glass surface, very thin, so they are shining through. Yeah, just thick, thick enough to make a proper electric field inside there. Yeah? And we can select if an area is now shining through or is blocking the light. Okay? The only thing we need to have is light. Yeah? So there are in in our case here we have a backlight. So we have here somewhere an LED and we will light it from the back side. Yeah? And we can select if this light is passing these liquid crystals if it's blocked by this by this sandwich yeah, or not. Yeah? And this is why we can see here, we can display something. Yeah? If we want to display a one, we just have to remove or put voltage where we want to we want to have it blocked. Yeah? yeah, this is how a liquid crystal is working. Liquid crystal display is working. Basically, yeah, there are there are if there's a colors and so on, it's a little bit more complicated. Yeah? But the basic principle, that's it. There are even liquid crystals displays where you can use uh, the reflective light, where this down here is a mirror. Yeah? So you can look through and it's mirroring back. Yeah? Then you don't need a backlight. For instance, your calculator is something like this, the silver things and so on. Yeah? This is without backlight, just using the surrounding light to and you see this silver thing, this is the mirror reflecting the light. Yeah, and, and also there you can select if you have to if you want to block this, then it's black. If you don't want to block it, it's look through, you see the mirror, this silver thing. You see there are a lot of connectors. Yeah, really a lot of some are for the backlighting here. This is the LED of the backlighting. We have to we can select the contrast by someone, and we of course have to 
put in the data of our Arduino to the liquid crystal display. Yeah. So we connect it in a certain way, yeah, this liquid crystal display to our Arduino and uh, the data transfer is really a little bit complicated. Yeah. So this is why we are using a library. Somebody else, else already solved this for us. Yeah. So we are using a library for this. Uh, yeah. How we built this, put this together and how we program this, it's not really complicated. We will see in next video. This video was theory behind liquid crystal displays. Okay. Next video then programming, especially this display. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.